Nasty in here with me. This ain't a diss song, but um, yeah, uh huh, you know what it is. I'm a cheesehead, y'all niggas cheese whiz. Pittsburgh Steelers, that's nothing. That Super Bowl ring, that's nothing. Yeah. Pull up in your town when you see me, you know everything. Green and yellow, green and yellow, green and yellow, green and yellow. Yeah. I put it down, representing for my team. I'm in green. And Matt, short week, good opponent. And you guys rose to both of those challenges and then so. Yeah, I think that's, again, it's a credit to our players, the guys that we have in that locker room. They knew it, it doesn't matter in this league. Whether you have six days or you have two weeks, you got to show up on Sunday and play, play your best ball. And I was proud of the effort that the guys gave today. Watching your offense, the way I could describe it is that's when a terrific game plan meets terrific execution. You guys were outstanding. Yeah, our guys, again, they did a great job of, of really knowing what to do and going out and executing the plan. I thought our quarterback was outstanding. Um, our offensive line did a great job, allowing him to have the time he needed. I thought our receiver stepped up and, and made some big plays. We had a lot of explosives out there. and then, um, But it was, yeah, it was just a great overall performance by the offense. You mentioned Aaron, and even for Aaron, that was pretty darn special, wasn't it? It sure was. It's, you know, to account for six touchdowns in the National Football League, that's, that's tough to do. So it was cool um, to see him do that and um, just happy for him. How big was scoring that touchdown at the end of the half and then coming out with your first possession and scoring another touchdown in the second half? How big was that turnaround? Yeah, I think that was huge. You know, you're talking about potentially being down uh, at halftime or, or, you know, going into a two-minute drive. But they, they fumbled the ball. We took the ball down, scored, and, um, you know, we're able to lap them with, with the first possession in the second half. So I think, it was again, it was just great execution by our guys. I want to mention a couple individuals. Marquez Valdez Scanling. We don't even know if he's going to play. Two catches, 133 yards, and a touchdown. Yeah, his knee and ankle looked pretty good on that last one, I'm, for sure. I mean, it was 75 yards, and he had he had two explosive plays. And I was really proud that he stepped up and was able to put a gritty performance out there. And uh, I was really happy for him. Four catches in the touchdown for Jimmy Graham. He had an active day. Yeah, he did. He did a great job, and it was good to see him bounce back because I know, uh, you know, he, he's his he's his own toughest critic. And um, but I was happy he made a great catch in the end zone on a low ball, and uh, just can't speak enough about what a positive influence he is on our football team. Defensively, you gave up some yardage in plays, but you did have that goal line stand and the big interception down in the red zone as well. Yeah, there was three trips where they went down and came away with no points. You know, right before the half, the fumble, uh, Kevin King came up with a, a huge interception in that goal line stands. So, yeah, there's certainly some stuff to, to clean up defensively. But, again, I think our guys gave, gave great effort, and, um, you know, those turnovers were key. Matt, finally, how does it feel to be 6-1? and one? Yeah, it feels pretty good, but it always feels great after a win. And, Again, it's we got a, a great opponent next week, so we got to wipe the slate clean. I told the guys you can enjoy it tonight, but uh, get ready to get back to work tomorrow, and uh, again go to Kansas City for a tough game. Oh yeah, Young Moolah, baby.